going into this little job to do here, it's basically pipe flange, it's a 3 inch diameter piece of steel bar, 3 quarters inch thick with a half inch BSP tapped hole through the centre, but it has got 4 holes in on an inch and a quarter pitch circle diameter. I'll be able to use the new digital readout on the mill machine to do the pitch circle diameter and start having to mark it out, work it out by hand, so that should be quite interesting. I've got a bit of suitable three inch bar, so we'll go about making the flange first, put the threads in, and then putting the, the four bolt holes in. Right, we've got a suitable piece of bar in the lathe. Bangle tools. Flower that off, no problem at all. Right, I've just got enough room to do a, a facing pass on the outside just to clean it up. going to break that edge because it really is sharp. Which again just make sure I have got enough clearance. Which I have. That's a topping size for three quarter BSP.
Right, that's 18. I put a bore on bar through to take the last 0.5 out of it. Right, normal method of Tapping this just do it by hand. Tail stop centre just to keep the top nice and straight. A little bit of pressure on it. Quite a heavy thread this. Right, that's it through. Nice clean sharp thread, full depth. Very nice. Right, we need to mount this so we can drill the hole in it. I drill the four holes in it. Put a nice parallel spacer there that'll do it quite nicely. One mount in the centre will be more than sufficient. I want some slightly bigger diameter than that just so it look at this bastard thing. Right, that's better. In the, the centre of the bolt hole, which is about there. Right, then we need to make sure this is centred underneath the, the spindle. Start off in the middle and work from there. Right, this is the setup I've used to get it in the middle and we'll start a back plunger gauge, which is a, a lovely little gauge to use. It's the one Bob did it for us, and that gauge is zero all the way around. So I'm quite happy that my spindle is dead in the centre. Right, we're going to set this up to cut the four hole bolt pattern. First thing we need to do is go to Imperial, and I work in Imperial. Press PCD, ask for a radius, the radius is going to be 1. Enter. First angle will need to be 90 degrees. Enter. End angle is zero. Hole number, number of holes, simple enough four. You can put in any amount of holes, it doesn't make any difference. Enter. Direct it to direct readout. Right, so that's giving you number one hole, and that's what you've got to do. You've got to zero the 
the scale number two number three number four Once again, I'm still using those bamboo drills I bought, keep and chewy what they're doing the job for us. Right, a 716 drill. Right, hole number two. Once again, all you do is just zero the two axis. That's it there. Right, that's the second one. Move to the third one now. I so say you can have put any number in, it's just a case of seal in the axis and drilling the hole. Put it there. Right, this is the last one. Take the drill because it wants to cut your hand open, you can tell. Right, so that's the, the bolt hole pattern, the four bolt holes. You just want to rag it and that's it. That's it done. I'm not quite sure what it's for, it's a steam fit in some description. So you need to take a bit of pressure anyway. I'm not sure what material it is he supplied it, but it, uh, it has machined very nicely. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, thanks for all the well wishes that are constantly coming in. Uh, thanks for watching.